I'm Jill Johnson and I'm an Operations Sergeant Major for the 505th Military Intelligence Brigade Theater in San Antonio, Texas. I was born and raised in Vancouver, Washington. I was able to uh, go to Concordia University in Portland, Oregon, and I played both um, college uh, fast pitch softball and basketball. And after I finished college, I, I just I didn't know what I wanted to do. I, I had gone to school initially to be a high school English teacher because I wanted to coach. And uh, English was like my favorite subject in school because I love to read, I love to write. And so I thought that would be a great way to mix two things I love, sports and um, my favorite subject. But it wasn't as easy to get a job right after college. One of my college friends uh, actually had uh, joined the active army and was in the process of becoming an officer. And we were talking and he was telling me all about his, his time at basic training and then through officer candidate school. And it started to get me thinking, oh wow, you know, maybe this is something I should look into, a challenge. At the time, I was kind of leaning towards the Army Reserve. That way I could still pursue my teaching um, uh, goals and, and coaching. But then 9-11 happened. And at that point, that really solidified my decision to join. It didn't take long after that, that I reached out to a recruiter and set up an appointment. And I actually went to the office with a, my own sheet of questions. <laughs> it was basically, I told them, I was like, hey, I'm gonna join. I just wanna make sure that, you know, I get what, you know, what it is that I wanna do that's gonna best serve, serve me so I can serve my country. And that ended up being uh, civil affairs. And at the time, it was only a, res a reserve component job, which worked uh, perfectly. April 9th, 2002, I enlisted. And then about six months later, went off to basic training, AIT. Um, after that, had some, a couple uh, training exercises that I was part of, and we got our MOBE orders to go to Iraq. So pretty much from the beginning of my, my career, it was like army all the time. And I didn't really know what it was like to even be a reservist until probably about three or four years into my reserve contract. And I just really fell in love with being a soldier. I, I loved every aspect of it. At that point, I didn't know it was gonna be a career for me. I just really wanted to be a part of something bigger than myself. And I guess when I say the reason why I serve, it was to be a, bi a part of something bigger than myself and to defend and protect the freedoms that my family, my friends and I, you know, love so much. And so it ended up being that that's what I wanted to do. And so in 2010, I ended up coming on the AGR program and I have been um, an AGR soldier ever since. I also reclassed to MI. And I, I continue to serve because I just, I love taking care of soldiers. That's, that's, I tell them every day, you're probably the reason why I'm still in. It's because I want to I want to help you reach and attain your goals. I want to help mentor and, and coach. I want to bring you up the way that I was brought up in the military with some great mentors um, to eventually take um, my spot. And uh, so why I continue to serve is to try to make that positive impact and influence on our younger generation and, and raise up good leaders uh, to be productive in society and in the military while they continue to serve. I think coming from a team sports background, it's one of the biggest teams you can ever uh, be a part of. And the way that we really talk about taking care of each other, you know, we have the, yes, this big family, and then it's just like little families within that. We all join for different reasons. There's many different reasons of why we join, but we all come together to accomplish this this one this goal, this overarching mission, which you know is you know protecting you know our constitution and upholding our our values and and protecting this nation.